Damien! Come on, man. Are you still there? Come in, Damien. God, can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? No. Dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckwood Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Nice. Handy and clever Veronica. Could have done it myself. I could have. What's this all about? Let me in. You hear me, Damien? Open this door before I bust We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill. To support themselves, they take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. 
Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Wait, 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 what's, what's going on? Where's Davian? He locked himself in the tower. What's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. He's not answering his radio. He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Aiden, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, I'm not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg, so I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't hug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? 
Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone, and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. Are you fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mio? Yeah. How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people Half-Ast has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? You won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Now, thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. And how did I do? Oh, you're something else. But you still have a lot to learn, kid. You lied to me about Hubie. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. This is no world for a saint. A martyr, maybe. If you get yourself killed. At least I'll have a clear conscience. Clear conscience? Wunderbar. <laughs> no one has a clear conscience here. And since you're still alive, neither do you. Right? What have you been getting up to, Pilgrim? What are you running from? Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. Wait! Okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? How about Cliff? About your brother? What about him? For one, I... I should apologize. For what? What happened to him, Hayden? Well, I... Uh, look, it's only fair that you know. Know what? That it's my fault. I killed him, not you. Oh, so you want me to jump? Is that it? Rub salt in my wounds? Of course you killed him! Do you think that changes anything? For anyone? It could. Maybe take some of the burden off of you. Nice try, but no, Hayden. No! I brought all of this down on myself. On me, on those poor victims, on my brother, and even you. And maybe I should just live with that. But I don't want to. At least not for very long. Only for about, say, 
15 floors? I can handle that. Goodbye, Aiden. No! Damien! Stop or I jump! Wait! Okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? I don't know. Uh, about life? Fuck you. That's what you're hung up on. That you're alive and so many aren't now because of you. Damien? I killed them. All of them. Look, man, it was a bad deal all around. You aren't evil. Okay, you were trying to save your brother. They backed you into a corner. But my brother is one person. One person. But I've killed so many. No. Sent them to be killed. You didn't kill them yourself. What choice did you have? Believe me, I've done plenty of bad in the name of good. And then... Just plain bad. But I'm not an evil person, and neither are you, Damien. I am. I could have found another way. But did I try? I can't close my eyes without seeing the face of every kid. I said, hey, you're new around here, too. They're all dead. And now so is my brother. Because of me. I can't take it anymore. Sure you can. You can prove how strong you really are. Live your life, and use each day to make it right. It's too much to fix. I can't. I, it could never be enough. I'm sorry, Aiden. I have a message from your brother. Wait, what? Before he died, your brother told me something. You waited till now? Tell me! It's not something you yell, Damien. Come over here and let's talk. If this is a trick, Aiden, it's a lousy one, and it won't work. I'll be over the side so fast! This isn't a trick. Seriously, he said something to me before... Just... come on, will ya? All right. Step back! Take it slow, yeah? Talk. Come closer so we can talk for real, man. Talk! Okay, fine. So he said... Your brother Cliff said that... That he loved you. And he didn't want you blaming yourself. He took the blame. You were a better person than he ever was, he said. Bullshit! Cliff never talked like that. He was a dick. My brother... But a serious asshole. He said that. He wanted you alive. He didn't want you bearing all this. I swear. Well, there's only one way to find out for sure. I'll have to ask him. But he's dead. Exactly. I don't! Damien. Stop or I jump! Wait, okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? I don't know. Uh, about life? Fuck you. That's what you're hung up on. That you're alive and so many aren't now because of you. Damien? I killed them. All of them. Look, man, it was a bad deal all around. You aren't evil. Okay, you were trying to save your brother. They backed you into a corner. But my brother is one person. One person. But I've killed so many. No. Sent them to be killed. You didn't kill them yourself. What choice did you have? Believe me, I've done plenty of bad in the name of good. And then... Just plain bad. But I'm not an evil person. 
And neither are you, Damien. I am. I could have found another way. But did I try? I can't close my eyes without seeing the face of every kid. I said, hey, you're new around here, too. They're all dead. And now so is my brother. Because of me. I can't take it anymore. Sure you can. You can prove how strong you really are. Live your life. And use each day to make it right. It's too much to fix. I can't. I, it could never be enough. I'm sorry, Aiden. Make room. I'm jumping with you. Are you crazy? Why not? We can go together. Now what's one more death added to your tab? Why would you? No, you would never. Try me. Jump. Go on. Jump. I'll be right behind. You ever hear that most jumpers change their minds mid-air? Uh, no. That's true. They're falling and think, oh fuck, maybe this actually wasn't the smartest thing I've done in my life. Soon my head's gonna smash open like a watermelon, and I'll writhe around with no control over my arms and legs, and beg for someone to finish me off. But nobody's gonna finish you off here, Damien. Except maybe the infected. They'll eat you foot to forehead, Damien. Slowly. I'm going. See you on the ground. Wait! Let's talk. About what? I... I, I don't know. About life? Maybe. Sure. But I guess I don't have a life anymore. All the guys that died, they died because... And quit being a broken record, will ya? You'll get over it. Now pull yourself the fuck together and back away from that ledge. Or you really will fall. And you feel bad about those deaths? That's great. It means you got a conscience. There's not many left in this town with a conscience. But you got one. And that's why you should live. To make up for what you did. There will always be time to jump. Tomorrow. Day after. No rush. Look, I won't stop you. But keep this in mind. Like I said before. Make it right. Keep living. At least till you make it right. So. How many deaths do you think you're responsible for? Don't make me say it, Aiden. Eight, maybe. Eight? Even better. Better? Yeah, because now you have to save eight lives. Deal? But... You gotta balance those scales, Damien. Do we have a deal? Deal. Smart move. I better not regret this. You won't. I got a job for you. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> How about that? Damien's got a sense of humor. Gallows humor, I guess. Yeah, it seems appropriate, all things considered. Aiden? Yeah? Thanks. No problem. I saved your life, kid. Now don't fuck it up, okay? <sighs> Jesus, Damien. What's up with you? Were you about to jump? I was, but Aiden... What's with this? It's all my fault business. Talk to me. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother. All dead. Because of me. The men who took my brother. They forced me, but that's no excuse. I'm disgusting. I didn't want to live anymore. Oh, you'll live long enough to see justice served. Aiden, you stay out of this. Unless you want to be dangling next to Damien when they finally hang him. Damien! Stop or I jump! Wait! Okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? I got a job for you. Hey, that's my line. How about that? Damien's got a sense of humor. 
gallows humor, I guess. Yeah, it seems appropriate, all things considered. Aiden? Yeah? Thanks. No problem. I saved your life, kid. Now don't fuck it up, okay? <sighs> Jesus, Damien. What's up with you? Were you about to jump? I was, but Aiden... What's with this? It's all my fault business. Talk to me. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother... Oh, wait, hold up. Don't confuse yourself again, Damien. Just relax and shut up for now. Wait, he was just talking about killing people or something. What's going on here? And the kid just found out his brother died. He's in shock, babbling nonsense. You cut the man some slack, will you? Have a heart. Fuck, Cliff's dead. No wonder he's all torn up. I get it now. My sympathies, Damien. You can talk to me whenever you want. 